Lamborghini's new SUV has been officially unveiled today near to the Lamborghini factory in Bologna, Italy. The official unveil marks a milestone in the Lamborghini brand's history. It's only the second time that the Italian manufacturer has flirted with the concept of a Fur B4. The original LM002, as glorious as it was, turned out to be a disaster for the company. Ten years in development, originally intended for the US military, Lamborghini eventually settled for around 300 customer cars. Fast forward over 30 years and the idea of a Lamborghini SUV actually has a better business footing. Being a Volkswagen Group, Lamborghini has access to the ubiquitous MLB Playroom which has underpinned the likes of the Porsche Cayenne and the Audi Q7 for years. Two years ago, Bentley launched the successful Bentayga using the same platform. The cost savings in using the platform are clear. Back to the car that Lamborghini unveiled today. Its styling is clearly going to be controversial. Whereas the LM002 was a true off-roader, the Urus is intended to sit somewhere between the tarmac and the dirt. 2018 Lamborghini Urus Lamborghini have opted for an edgy look. The front is incredibly complex, blending a multitude of shapes, lines, curves, just about every styling tool at the designer's disposal. The side and rear are no less coherent. A long line runs the length of the flank and the front wheel arch gets a fender vent. At the rear, quad exhausts surround a diffuser, the rear bonnet gets a lip spoiler and the roof, a small spoiler. Unlike the LM002, the Urus hasn't immediately jumped on the company's largest and most powerful engine. It has also bucked the naturally aspirated trend. It uses the familiar 4.0-liter V8 with twin turbochargers. The rational is that the Urus, with its bigger heft, needs additional low-end torque which simply isn't achievable with a naturally aspirated unit. The front-mounted engine produces 641 bhp at 6,800 rpm and 627 pounds foot of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour happens in just 3.6 seconds and 200 km per hour, in 12.8 seconds. The power is routed through an 8-speed automatic box. It uses a torque converter to ensure maximum engine response. There is no doubt then that the Urus performs like a Lamborghini should despite its 2,200 kg curb weight. Naturally, the Urus is four-wheel drive. It uses a torsion self-locking differential. The power is delivered 40% to the front and 60% to the rear with the ability to shift as much as 70% to the front or 87% to the rear. Torque vectoring and rear wheel steering also assist with traction. On the electronic side of things, Lamborghini have fitted the Urus with six drive modes. Strada, Sport, Casa, Neve Snow, Terra Off-Road and Sabia Sand. They all do different things to the adaptive damping and other systems to assist in the conditions they relate to. Aside from the engineering aspects, Lamborghini has also championed the luxury design of the interior. The interior is oriented towards the driver and matches the Huracan and Aventador in style. It uses hexagonal.